Hi, Scorpio, getting ready to do your reading. This is for the week of January 15th through the 21st. So this is for Scorpio Sun, Moon, and Rising. All right. So universe, I am asking for specific questions, for specific details for you, Scorpio this week. What can you tell them? Please be specific for the week of January 15th through the 21st for Scorpio. Okay. Okay, five of coin reversed, empress in reverse, ten of cups, queen of wands in reverse, ten of swords, three of swords, the devil, six of swords, seven of cups, queen of cups. Hierophant in reverse is under the deck, so this has to do with um, a relationship that's not going well. be dealing with a fire sign, immature fire sign, another water sign like yourself, maybe an earth sign also, but um, what is the five of coin for Scorpio? Five of coin in reverse feels like you're coming out of a, a place of feeling sad, yeah. So things, if you're feeling lonely right now, if you're feeling out in the cold, um, something's going to change with the page of cups. Who is this empress? Empress energy? The Knight of Cups. Oh, okay. What is the Ten of Cups? Ace of Cups. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, who, what is the Queen of Wands? Queen of Wands upright. Okay. What is the Ten of Swords? Make sure you can hear me. What is the Ten of Swords? You're okay. So this is your wow. You're in reverse in this deck. But that would make sense, right? If you've been stabbed in the back 10 times, you're feeling emotional. You would be very overly emotional at this time. I read her um, in reverse. She's overly emotional. She can be dramatic. Um, she can be cut off from love, but, but being with this card, I would think you're feeling pretty sad, lonely, and hurt. Obviously, with the five of coin and empress energy and three of swords, you are feeling sad, though it looks like this week will be better. Three of Swords, slightly better, Justice. So you may have someone come in for you, Scorpio, and this will help, you know, when it's in reverse, the swords are falling out, you're feeling better, and so this may be your Justice. You may be meeting someone new. Who, what, who or what is the Devil? Knight of Swords, what does this Knight of Swords represent? Six of Cups, racing back to the past. A past Page of Swords. Okay, what is the Six of Swords in reverse? Notice that it's in reverse, it's not moving forward someone is viewing you as not moving away from them and it's in reverse and that's this energy here of going backwards to it looks like a toxic situation now the devil can mean a lot of things it's not necessarily addictions or toxicity or anything like that it can be a bad habit it can be that you don't want to be on your own you don't feel safe you don't feel protected or you know cared for um so you don't want to be alone, so you do rush back to to someone in the past, um, which is understandable, right? Also, could be dealing with obviously an air sign from the past, but this looks like either they come rushing in, maybe you find new love this week, and they come rushing back to you, or you feel like you're afraid to move forward, and you go rushing back to them. But what is the six of swords in reverse? Three of coin in reverse. Okay, what is the seven of cups? Broken hearted. What is the queen of cups? So you may be afraid to leave a situation where you feel safe, even though you may not be happy in it, because you don't want to move forward and get your heart broken again. Okay, queen of cups is your outcome, which I'm assuming is you at this point. Queen of cups, the seven of swords. 
six of wands, two of swords, hang on, I'm sorry, I gotta feel it. Well, these, well, that may be what you're trying to choose between. Maybe you're choosing between seven of swords or six of wands, because I can't get another card to come out. I got too many. That was half the deck. Um, or Empress Energy. Okay. Because that would make sense. You do have Empress here. So I wasn't getting the right one. Okay, so the outcome is you, Scorpio. The outcome is you deciding. See, Six of Wands is a short-term victory. Six of Wands, the guy's in a parade. He is being admired. He feels great. But once you go home from that parade, you know, and you're all alone, you're stuck in this Five of Coin energy. You're feeling lonely. So you're, I feel like you're robbing yourself of a situation. It's like, Scorpio, you can be Empress. You can have Empress energy. You can have anything you want. I feel like you're staying or going back to a toxic situation. And I don't necessarily, it doesn't have to be toxic. It's a safe situation. It's a situation maybe where you feel like you're, you're safe there. You don't have to, um, do new things or grow. You can, um, you may not be, sp may not be happy in this situation. That may be why you're in five of coin reverse and empress reverse, um, and queen of wands reverse. You're not growing. You're not doing new things, but you're, you're with a partner who is just there. You don't feel maybe loved. You don't feel protected, nurtured, um, admired. You don't feel any of that type of energy when everything's in reverse. And there's obviously been some type of heartache and pain in this relationship in the past. Um, but this is safe. Okay, this is safe, right? You could stay in this probably for a long, long time and just be in that safe, possibly codependent type of relationship. And it looks like you may be going back to it because you may get scared because it looks like you have an opportunity coming in here, Scorpio, that is meant for you, but you're afraid to take it because you don't want to get hurt. Um, either those are, are viewing you as, okay, this is someone or either someone around you, um, hang on, let me press this. This is either someone around you or how they're viewing you, but someone around you may not be moving forward. And there may be a secret coming out about a third party or they're not want, wanting to, they may not be willing to work with you. It may be this relationship you're in Scorpio. They're not necessarily moving away from you, but they aren't necessarily willing to work together with you either and to, to give you what you want or need or, you know, in this relationship. So it's kind of like you're in a dead cold relationship and you're staying there because it's safe. You are hurt by someone or something. Now, again, this is, it seems like this relationship here, you are feeling very emotional. You've been hurt and maybe you don't even realize it. Maybe you're kind of used to this behavior by this other person. So it's become second nature, but what's crowning you is 10 of cups being very happy and ace of cups, new love. And then we pulled out the page of cups and the knight of cups, um, and justice saying this is deserved. It can be from a fire sign, but I have been seeing this queen pop up for a lot of signs representing, um, being passionate, moving forward, going after what you want, you know, your, your career, a new friends, new love, that type of thing. So this very well could be your energy also here because you are starting out looks like in the reverse. So this could definitely be you. Or there could be a significant fire sign you are dealing with. This could be the, this person here, or this could also be a friend or someone who is helpful, who may be giving you advice. But what I'm seeing here again is either you're going to rob yourself and stay safe, I feel, and, th and be a short term victory, or you can do the scary thing and go out and meet, you know, go out with new people, move away from this energy and find Empress energy because Empress energy, like I say, She's someone that is admired. You know, when I see her come up in relationships, I know somebody really likes her. Someone has her up on a pedestal. I don't know if she needs, should be on that pedestal, but she's up there. And somebody thinks she's just, you know, she's got everything. She's beautiful. She's fun. They like this person a lot. And when I do readings, personal readings, and they, she comes out as the empress, yeah, she's above the queen. 
She's got it all. She's happy. So it's like you're robbing yourself here for a short-term victory, staying in this healthy relationship, unhealthy relationship, because you are afraid of getting hurt. You are afraid of everything that could be out there. Seven of Cups, you know, this could happen, that could happen. Um, I'll be all alone. I'll have to go live with my parents again. Oh my gosh, you know, how am I going to take care of things? So you may be overwhelmed right now with Seven of Cups. That may be an overwhelmed feeling you're, or you're afraid of what could happen with Seven of Cups. You're afraid of um, being broken hearted again. What is the hair font in reverse? Because the relationship you're in, Scorpio, is not healthy. It's in reverse. It's not a very good um, place to stay. Hair font in reverse, please, for Scorpio. Yeah, it's, there's a lot of sadness there. There's this hurt. And you were hurt, Scorpio, and there's a lot that's gone on. But again, it's comfortable. It's safe. So, all right. So, Yeah, I'm not sure if, some, if this represents someone, you know, like when you go back or you stay in this relationship, they don't talk to you very nicely or because Page of Cups can represent, sorry, Page of Swords can represent communication that's very sharp, can be cold, can be truthful, but hurtful. Um, it's usually something you need to know, but... It's, you know, still, no, nevertheless, it can be very hurtful. All right. Let me pull one more card just to put one down for the center cards. Look, what else can you tell us? Lovers. Okay, so you have a choice. So exactly, that is what lovers is, you guys. It is a choice. It doesn't always have to be in love, but in this case it is. It's about choosing. You're going to have something to choose from coming up here, Scorpio. It's probably a new beginning for you. Um, this could be a soulmate, possibly, but... This is someone coming in, looks like, a new opportunity that you're being given. <clears throat> so the outcome, again, is you. It's all on you. And that's a great outcome, though, because that means you're in the spotlight. You get to decide. Um, it's, you know, not about someone else or, you know, something bad. It's, it's strictly what do you want, Scorpio? What are you going to choose? Because it's coming in for you. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. I'm going to leave it there, you guys. Have a great week and take care.